A Chinese bank is supporting scientists at Oxford University with a pledge of 60 billion yuan, nearly 10 billion dollars. The bank signed a deal creating a fund to accelerate research into diseases and treatments. And as CCTV's Dan Whitehead reports, Chinese and British researchers will work together to bring medical breakthroughs to the market. Carrying out the very latest stem cell research, young scientists are busy in a lab here at the University of Oxford, knowing that they now have major financial backing to support their findings. The China Construction Bank is injecting more than 14 million yuan into the center and has also pledged 60 billion yuan to support the industrialization of any breakthrough outcomes. This is why it's so exciting, because with this money and with this platform, we now can dream big and can target real big issues like cancer, like diabetes, like neuroregeneration, for example. Some 350 research students from around the world come to study and say they are excited by the new deal. It's, it's very encouraging, I would say, just knowing that there's, um, there's a market already available for the work that we're doing and there, there's already a vested interest in it. My mother got, has diabetes. This is my motivation for the whole project. And thinking about this, I could help. The work I do at the moment could help to cure her and cure diabetes. CRMI established its research and development center with the University of Oxford in 2014. Many see it as a model of collaboration between China and the UK. Yeah, we think you know uh, the stem cell research in UK, you know, is the most advanced you know uh, among the world. That's why you know we we are very delighted to work with Oxford. CCB says it hopes its funding will lead to many important scientific advances. The researchers here know that this deal means that any breakthroughs they're working on today in the lab could directly help millions of people around the world. It provides a far quicker and more efficient route to commercialising future cures. Dan Whitehead, CCTV at the University of Oxford.